Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about everything I keep in my Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. So I've had my Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer for about two years now, and I've been slowly building up the selection of tools in there. So I'm going to go from left to right and show you everything I've got in the kit. It goes quite deep inside, so it's fairly quite a lot thicker than the suggested sort of two inches that it's supposed to be. But as you, you'll see in a second, it has a hell of a lot of kit in it. So first of all, we've got a set of nail clippers. These ones are the Secchi Edge by Green Bell. But to be honest, any set of nail clippers will fit perfectly fine in there. Next, we have the uh, Lamy Pico, which is a really nice little pen which you can extend, which so it's a much more ergonomic and sits in your hand much better than a lot of other pens which are as short as this. It needs to be this short, literally, so it can fit inside here. Um, and the reason I've got it, I originally had it in the case is so it doesn't just sort of roll around inside there and cause problems and make noise. The next thing I've got is the Leatherman Style PS, which is a really good quality multi-tool. So it's got the nail, uh, needle nose pliers. It's got a pair of scissors. It's got a nail file and it's also got a very, really high quality set of tweezers, which just sit inside the faceplate here. It does also on this little hook have a bottle opener, um, which is handy to have, but there's about five different bottle openers inside here anyway. The next item is the Nightcore Tip SE. I did originally have a tip torch, but I just found it absolutely amazing that you could get up to 700 lumens out of this little thing. I mean, at 700 lumens, the battery life's gonna be fairly appalling, but, um, you know, it's good to be able to have that and it's come in handy quite a few times. In the back here as well, I just have a refresher wipe. So it's just a lemon refresher wipe. I've got a local burger shop that gives me the, one of these every time I go there. So I've got a big selection and every time I use one, I just replenish it. In the back here, we have a set of four millimeter bits. So there's just four of those and I've labeled on there which ones they are. Um, so I've got bits and bobs that are, that are handy for my uses. Of course, they may not apply to everybody, but for me, these are, are the ones I need. So these sit inside um, this extender, which is just a classic Weha extender, and that goes into a normal six millimeter bit. But I'm gonna, I'll go into all how the extender works in a little bit. Next, we have a little spirit level. Um, I've gone over this in a different video, actually, but this is the Starrett 135A. It's just a really tiny little, really high quality um, spirit level. It's not particularly precise, but I've used it a couple of times to put up photographs and shelves and things, and it's, it's done the job pretty well. Next, have a classic big mini lighter. Can't go wrong with one of these. I've never had it an issue with them in the past. Um, so I tend to always keep one of these because basically the gas can never leak out. That's the end for that side. So in the center, as I just showed, um, I've got the Victorinox extender, which has the four mil bit in there as well. Um, this of course works in conjunction with my little um, toolkit over here, but I'll go into that in a second once I've gone over what's what's over here. So here I've got a pair of four inch Nipex pliers. I mean, these are the Cobra 
um, pipe pliers, which are incredibly popular. I mean, they've just become one of the most common pieces of EDC you can get now. But one of the reasons I got this instead of an adjustable spanner is just because you can just get so much, such a big span out of them. So if you need to, you know, fix something at a pinch, it's an amazing piece of kit to, to sort that out. As well inside there, um, I have just created out of a piece of cork this little holder item. So it's made out of just a piece of cork. I've cut a channel into it, um, and then I've cut out the exact shape for the um, Spyderco bug. Because originally this was a TSA apply um, applicable kit, but I thought it, at a certain points I'm going to need a knife. Um, so this was the best one to go for because it just fitted in with what I already had available to me. So yeah, that just sits inside there like so, and then that sits inside there. The next thing is my Victorinox um, ratchet and tool set. So this is a classic Victorinox ratchet that you usually get with the Spirit X series. And I've also got the extender that sits in the top. One of the slightly annoying things about this is the fact that you have to take the extender out and turn it around if you want to screw up or, or screw or unscrew. And it hasn't been particularly problematic for me. I've got a set of 10 varying sizes and shapes of um, a screwdriver bit, which can just, of course, sit in there. Um, and if you just want to use it as a screwdriver, then you can just do away with the extender kit altogether. Um, and you can just put the bits in the end like so, which is really, really handy. One of the reasons that I don't use the Leatherman bit kit, which I know, to be honest, it would give me a lot more um, functionality in terms of the amount of bits I could use, is just because I don't like proprietary items. Because if I was to lose one, um, I wouldn't be able to get one as e very easily. So I like the idea of just having everything, you know, really easy to to acquire if I need them. So that's the extender kit. I also have that wrapped in five small lengths of um, classic black tape, which if you take the top one off and probably the bottom one, you only have three, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Next, I have this little um, case here, which just holds a couple of really, really useful items, sort of repair items. Um, so I've got blue and brown tape, and in the UK these are um, live and neutral, um, which is really, really handy. Um, and then I've got just a tiny little bottle of lubricant as well. And I know you can get those those pens, WD-40 pens, which are brilliant, but as you can see with the amount of space I've got in this kit, it's, um, it's not really appropriate. Next, just have a little packet um, of cable ties so they're varying sizes they are incredibly short but if I had to fix something that was a lot longer than what was appropriate for these I could just attach them together so if that was appropriate then um, that's what I'd do next I have a really really nice high quality um, utility knife it's pretty much the smallest one I could find. And the beauty of this is because it's titanium, it also doubles as a pry bear bar. Um, so you can just pry up any loose nails or anything like that. Um, the way that this works is you push down on this flat back bit here, and then that um, allows the blade to slide up and then it holds really, really well in there. And then if you want to um, push it out, you can literally just push it through like so. And it has these little ceramic beads which um, help it push through. One of the slight issues with this design of blade is the fact that it does rub across the bottom channel. Um, so even with general, you know, 
opening it and closing it, it does slowly wear away at the blade, but the quality of it is really, really fantastic. Next, I've got a 10 mil ruler. I think this is probably the only 10 mil ruler you can buy and I was originally gonna cut a 15 mil ruler down, but I just like the idea of having, um, you know, everything really precisely made, um, high quality. So I didn't wanna go, go about it that way. Next, I've got a classic Rhodia notebook. Um, it's not right in the rain, and if it did rain on it, it'd probably get pretty damaged. But that doesn't matter too much to me because I don't think I'm ever gonna be using it in the rain. In the back of that as well, I have um, a spare utility blade, which just sits inside there. Um, and I've got a couple of really tiny saws which aren't particularly useful in most circumstances, um, but if I needed to, um, I'm pretty sure these would come in pretty handy in certain circumstances. I've then got a little tin of miscellaneous items, so I've sort of just noted on here what, what's inside for my own personal use. Um, so inside there, I've got a spare AAA battery, which is for a different torch. Um, I've got a USB-C to SD micro SD converter. I've got a few little pills, so um, hay fever and ibuprofen. I've got a spare, um, spare knife blade for um, my scalpel. Um, and then I've got two, the US, uh, USB-C converter and a um, lightning converter for use with my charger, which I'll show you in a second. As well as that, I've got a tiny little mechanical pencil, um, which is the Minimo um, by Oto. Um, it's really, really handy actually. I found that I use it just as much as a lot of the other items in there. Um, so yeah, that's really highly recommended. I also have a piece of dowel, which to be honest is just in there because there was a little bit of space and if you know, if it, there was a real, real issue and I had to make a fire or something, then this would be better than having nothing at all. And then the final item um, is just a little 4,000 milliamp hour battery charger. Um, so my phone is about 4,000 milliamp hours as well. So this can charge it just about once. Um, but yeah, it's really, really handy. On the front here as well, I have um, the micro USB cable to go with it. So that just goes in there. And then if I want to charge one of either my phone or my torch, that's of course in the kit, I can uh, literally just plug it in and it will put some charge in there, which is really, really handy. But yeah, that's the, pretty much the entirety of the kit. Um, if you have any feedback about it or any suggestions as to how I could improve it, please let me know. Cheers.